Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Mackie Mix 8, 8 channel compact mixer. This thing is pretty awesome. I've had mine for about six or seven years now. Have never had any issues. Works great. So to get started here, you can see we have six inputs, three and four, five and six, one and two. And the first two have XLR inputs as well as line level just TRS inputs. And you can see that has two gain knobs there. I have my mic plugged into this one. It's a Shure SM58. So that needs 48 volt phantom power. That you can see is turned on right there using the switch. So that will let you use different microphones. You can adjust the gain here. We have an EQ, just a basic um, high, mid, and low EQ. So you can adjust that. We have the aux level here. This is gonna be if you connect instrument pedals, like you can see on the left here, I have some instrument pedals hooked up. And the way you do that is you take a cable from aux send, and then you plug that into your pedals, into the input, connect all your pedals together. I got three of them here, and then I just, I can move this for you, show you. And then I take the output from the cables, route that back, and it goes right back into the mixer right here. Right back into just an empty channel. I have it in channel three. And so now this knob will be able to control the amount of, of effects that are coming through. Same thing with this aux. If I turn up the aux on, say, five and six here, Make sure the master is turned up as well. This was plugged into my synthesizer right now. So my synthesizer is going to be affected. Nothing else is because these aux knobs are turned down. If I want it, say on my microphone on this first channel, I can turn it up on there. And now my effects will come through on the first channel. You do not want to do it on the effect channel because then the effects are going to be overlapping each other and it's really gonna compound. You got your pan knobs here, and then you just have your normal level meters at the bottom here. Headphone knob here, so CR phones, you have your CR out right here, and then your main, as well as your volume meter right there. So that's pretty much everything with this mixer. It's pretty awesome, I use it for everything. I record so really nice for if you have especially if you have a variety of different gear like microphones synths pedals guitars all kinds of stuff it's really awesome for that anyway thanks for watching this video i hope you learned something and i'll see you in the next one so i forgot to put this part in the video for the output you can see it has two outputs here a left and a right i just have that going into my interface, but you could just have these going to a left and a right speaker. Like I got my speakers here. If I wanted, I could just have the mixer output directly to the speakers if I didn't want to record. If I was just performing live, maybe that's what I would do. Don't have to go through the interface. Just thought I'd add that.